Hey, I'm Jade with JDS Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and install your new Sawgrass Sublimation printer. First thing you're going to want to do is unbox everything. In your box, you will get, of course, your sublimation printer, your ink, your USB connector, and your power cord. The first thing you're going to want to do is take off any tape you see on the printer. There's also a small piece of foam in the printer that does not need to be replaced. So you can take that and throw it away. Next, you're going to want to take your power cord and plug it into the right hand side of the printer. After you've plugged the printer in, press the power button to turn it on. This is when you'll want to take your ink cartridges and put them into their corresponding slots into, in the printer. Once your cartridges are in place, the printer will do an automatic seven minute ink charge to prime the ink lines. While you're waiting, you can place your sublimation paper into the paper tray, bright white side down. If you're going to use Wi-Fi, there's a few steps you need to take to enable Wi-Fi on the printer. First, press the menu button on the front of the printer and use the arrow keys to navigate the menu. Select system settings and press okay. Next, scroll down to interface settings and select okay. Select Network and scroll till you see LAN Type. Select OK. Select Wireless Network and hit OK. Then you want to hit Escape until you get back to the System Interface menu and select Wireless LAN and click OK. Now select Wireless LAN Easy Setup and click OK. Make sure you're on SSID Auto Search and click OK. Now you want to find which network you want to connect to and select OK. Select the down arrow under the word enter to be able to enter your network password. Once your password is accepted, you'll see the connection succeeded screen. Press exit and then escape until you get to your home screen. Now your printer is ready to connect to Wi-Fi. Now it's time to install the Sawgrass Print Manager. First, go to www.sawgrassinc.com and hover over the Getting Started menu. Select Print Manager and then Download for Windows. The file should start to download within seconds. Once the download is finished, choose to install the software and then select your language. Next, you will see the Sawgrass Print Manager setup box pop up onto your screen. Make sure all of the boxes have green checks in them and then click Install. Once everything is finished loading, click Finish. A print manager licensing agreement will then pop up. Select agree to move on to the next step. At this point, you will be asked to sign in with your Sawgrass email and password. If you do not already have an email and password registered with Sawgrass, you can create one on the Sawgrass website. Once you're logged in, you will be asked to select which printer you have and what type of ink you're using. Next, you'll see the Install Printer Driver screen. Click the pink Install button. A Windows Security pop-up will then ask you if you want to install the software. Select Install on this window as well, and then click the pink Next button. The next step is for you to choose how you would like to connect your printer to your computer. You can select either USB, Wi-Fi, or Ethernet. Please note, if you are using USB and the program cannot find your printer, choose the Ethernet option and then you will see an option to connect via USB. I will show you the screen a little further into the video. Today, however, we are connecting the printer via Wi-Fi, so that's what I'll select here. When connecting via Wi-Fi, make sure your printer is connected to the same network as your computer and then click the pink Add Printer button. This will prompt another licensing agreement. Select Agree and then Next. Click Add New Printer and then click Next. The next window you will see, select Method to Add Printer. You will also see the same screen when using the Ethernet option, and it is here that you can select USB to connect if the original USB option is not working. Because I know my printer's specific IP address, I'm going to use that option to connect to my printer. The program will ask you to confirm your network connection, which you'll do by hitting the Next button. Now, I'm going to enter the IP address of my printer and then click OK. After the print manager finds your printer, a pop-up will appear that says Install Printer Driver. Select Continue and the install will progress. 
After it finishes loading, you will have the option to add any additional bypass trays or extra tray options. Select Set Now and it will take you to the Printer Properties window. Select your additional accessories and then select OK. Now your computer will ask you if you'd like to restart your computer now or restart later. This will finalize the Sawgrass Print Manager installation. On the final screen, select Finish and your installation process is complete and your new printer is ready for use. And there you have it, you've installed your new Sawgrass Sublimation Printer. If you have any further questions, you can visit our website or call the number below for more help. Thanks for watching!